Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can get all the business object based on the event name or the reference. Suppose I know the key field name, like the uh, how will I get all the business object associated with it? Now, business object is very much important when you are creating workflows. So, how will I get it? The first thing is you have to create a query. So, here I will show you. I have already created a query and just just want to first show you the the join condition okay because that's very important so here you can see this join condition here this is the two tables that you are going to use it okay so if I <clears throat> if I show you in a little bit bigger then it would be easier I will not show you how to create the SQL uh, the above query but this is pretty simple so you need to do a join between this table T-O-J-T-T and S-W-O-T-T-V. Okay, that's it. After that, you have 50% of the work is done. Selection fields. You have to mention all these selection fields. Okay, so these are the selection fields that you have to mention. So I'll just keep it for some time. Just keep for this so that you can copy. Okay, these are the selection fields you want to do. Okay, after you have done all these selection fields, this is important. So I'll just hold for some time, okay, and here you just get, so there is three fields from the first table and there is uh, nine fields, ten fields from the other table, okay, and then in the list field in the layout, again, I'll just keep halted. I have four fields from here, so if you notice, this object type, verb, verb type, this, all these things are there, and if I scroll down a little, okay, I'll just slowly do it because so that you can copy okay so here this is the stuff that you can you getting the information okay now uh, once you do this we'll just execute it now suppose here I have a requirement I want to know what are the um, what are the uh, different business object associated with uh, the the field Belna. Okay, so I just put Belna, which is the invoice number. So if I put these are all the business objects that have Belna as one of their as one of their uh, key fields. Okay, so here you can see here again you have to put the verb type as K. Okay, so this is important. K is for key field. Okay, so here you can see key field, and then I execute. You get much less okay so here you can see these are the different object type we have you have bus bus bsec bus 2131 FIP. very much makes sense it agrees now suppose you have we'll just do something different we'll go and we'll try to find vbln okay so which is for sales order we'll see how many are there so here if you notice there would be bus to zero nine nine five all these things which is very much essential those things are there okay uh, so here you can find Belnar and the back and all those things so here you can see all this information very easy okay if you want to sort it you can sort it and you can get all this information. now if I suppose I want to search with EBLN okay EBLN okay and this is Purchase order here you can see all the purchase order related stuff plus two zero one two and all those things. So this is very very useful. Now let's try something else. So here suppose I want to now search with uh, something um, uh, tell me a thing that I can search with. Okay, so let's see. I can search with events. So in the events, I suppose I want to see a search deleted okay, so if there's any event deleted there's nothing deleted there is delete event there is no delete event okay so that's fine now you will see whether there is any event like the release so for release will be there we we'll just execute and there is no such event as release also okay. so probably there's B that is also not oh I'm putting the wrong field sorry uh, the event name would be somewhere else. Okay. 
a object by component from this one yeah sorry delete will be here I execute or delete it okay so let me see uh, go here and I put this first to zero one two what the event name comes its object type component is this so it's the object type component so it would be this one okay. so I'll put um, I'll take this off and here I'll put the event so I'll put delete and we'll execute and we'll get no nothing delete it yes you see all these business objects have the deleted event so there might be cases where you want to use the deleted event for one of these business objects you can find it so this is very useful and same thing you can do for release okay so this way you you can use the standard events for to build your business object or do notification or whatever you want to okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a